I'm Judy, the organizer and creator at Rescue My Space. Welcome back to my channel. And if you are new, welcome to my channel. So today is day five of spring cleaning kitchen edition. And today we're gonna be focusing on the fridge, finally, right? So basically I'm gonna go inside, clean it up, organize it or reorganize it. And I'm also going to organize the outside of it and clean it as well. It needs help. You've been seeing her in different parts of this kitchen edition. So finally it's her turn and we are gonna get her together. Together. <laughs> so with that said, let's get right into the video. So I'm gonna burn this candle. So as I'm deep cleaning the fridge, I'm just gonna invite in all the positive energy. Cue the torch. Let there be light. So I went grocery shopping yesterday. Unfortunately, I didn't get everything on my list because they ran out, but what I do have is sitting behind me. By the way, we're also gonna be focusing on the freezer. So both spaces or places or areas today. <laughs> Anywho, let's open her up. <laughs> Here she is in all her glory. So I basically just put everything in here. Yeah, there's no rhyme or reason. I kind of just threw the groceries in here. So what I need to do is to take everything out, go through it, figure out what needs to be kept. Some of these items may need to, you know what needs to go? I know for sure these pickles are going. We've had it for over a year, we don't even touch it. And it expired a few months ago, so bye bye girl. We are going to go through everything. All right, let me start with this. <laughs> I'll be using, you know, counter space as always. This is no longer fuzzy, so it needs to go. I'm saying fuzzy, but y'all know, carbonate it. All right. By the way, as I'm talking about my kitchen, I guess you might be getting some new countertop. I feel like it's gonna brighten up the space. We're also thinking of painting the cabinets. There's like four colors I'm thinking of painting them and they're here. So let me know your favorite color. Anyway. <laughs> All right. I guess, you know what? I'll start from here. So I'll start with the middle items and then I'll take out the door items. I think that makes the most sense. You know what? I think that makes the most sense. These are things from <laughs> ordering out that we, for whatever reason, like to hold on to. <laughs> okay. You know what? All of my food items that are in canisters, they're just gonna go. But I'm gonna lay them over here closer to the sink because they don't need to be eaten. They've probably been here longer than three days. This is definitely trash. And I was watching something not too long ago and uh, it was about like flesh eating diseases. And these two men happened to eat something and they were exposed to some type of flesh eating bacteria and they lost their limbs and everything and it freaked me out. And so now I no longer hold on to food like after two or three days because I'm like, absolutely not. Like it scared the bejesus out of me. And now I'm highly well aware of just like all types of bacteria that can grow on food. So that's why it's really important that you use canisters or containers that have good suction that leave out all the air, all the bacteria. And really you shouldn't even be holding on to to-go food for longer than like two or three days, unless you freeze it, I guess, or even like leftovers, because you just never know. And even though I'm sure the cases are pretty rare, it's just extreme, it's still very frightening because, you know, you, I mean like a lot of them have, if they haven't passed away from it, a lot of them, I'm sure adjust and they're able to live an okay life, a completely different life, but you know, you find, you find, you find what's it, what the will to live, you know, when you're just handed certain situations in life, but it's still something that, you know, no one should go through. 
I was freaked out, like highly freaked out. Um, and learned a lot because I started to do my own research after watching and I was like, oh, okay, got it noted. So, cause I'm someone who tends to hold on to leftovers for longer than like, longer than five days. And that's a no, no. So yeah, definitely very, very scary. Okay. Oh my gosh, it's so oily. We recently ordered food from one of our like, I don't want to say favorite Nigerian restaurants, but it's a restaurant that we frequent and they actually uh, catered at our traditional wedding, which I need to talk about one of these days. <laughs> and uh, we assume that they have like a new cook now, but I don't know. Their food is just not doing what it used to do. <laughs> Ran into the fridge. So the last time we ordered it, which is like maybe like three, maybe like four days ago, five days ago, um, their food was just so oily. And, you know, I'm not the healthiest eater, but Tony and I, we try to eat healthy. <laughs> How noticeable is this? <laughs> anyway, but like I said, I'm not the healthiest eater, but Tony and I at least try to to eat healthy. You know, we try not to eat out too much even though we've been eating out but we try to be conscious of what we're putting in our bodies and for the first time in over a decade after eating that oily food I had heartburn I don't get heartburn the last time I got heartburn I had to be like 20 so I knew it was a food and I was so shocked because I'm like, why am I having heartburn? Like, I don't eat food that causes heartburn. So anyway, so I just came to the conclusion that it was probably the food and I will no longer go to that restaurant. We're like loyal customers too when it comes to like restaurants we love. And I was just like, you know what, I'm done. So basically two of those to go orders are from that place and they need to go you know what i'm gonna get a trash bag right now because i know for sure we will not eat any of this even though it's actually not bad if you feel it or see it up close it's actually not bad like it it does really well in these drawers they've been sitting here for at least a few weeks but I purchased new ones, you know, I want to clean out this space and, you know, invite in new foods. These carrots are, <laughs> they've seen better days. They're super soft. Let me know in the comment section below if you use the drawers in your fridge and if you leave your fruit in it without like packaging. I like the idea of like going in the drawers and grabbing what I need rather than having to like unbag them and grab what I need. I don't know why that take, that's taking so long to, to say. Okay, I'm going to, there's no room in my kitchen right now. So I'm gonna go through these items, get rid of what we don't want, and then I'm gonna go back and take out these sauces or the items that sit on the door and then do the same thing because I'm gonna show you guys, but we have no room to put anything. Here, and then here. This is coffee. I guess I could put the door items here, but I wanna break it up in sections so that it's a lot easier to go through. It's all about ease when it comes to spring cleaning, deep cleaning, organizing any space, because you don't wanna to be too overwhelmed because when you're overwhelmed, you give up, you quit, and it takes time to get back to it. So we are gonna start with over here since it's the easiest. So what am I getting rid of? So for sure, we oop, <laughs> we have all this to-go items. I'm going to get rid of them. There's a few over there I'm gonna get rid of as well. So I have my trash bag here in front of me so it's easy for me to get rid of. I'm just gonna do it now. We recently ordered sushi. We recently ordered seafood we recently ordered a lot so that's what this comes from 
and this can go let me dump it out let me just keep it in the fridge all right what else so this is yeah this is egg from this weekend <laughs> what dump that out gonna put it put the container in the fridge all right these are biscuits we love biscuits but we don't always eat the entire container at one time we try to you know minimize the carb intake <laughs> So we have it in here, so we're gonna keep that because I think we have maybe about two or three days left and then I, we probably should have froze this. I'm probably gonna freeze it because it's been a few days. Actually, I might even throw it away, I don't know. Sabrina's Lunchables, she loves her Lunchables. So we have that. We also have smoked salmon, which I'm going to be putting in its own container. I created a container for one of the packages a few days ago, and I'm just gonna go ahead and put this one in it too. I like the idea of having everything easily accessible. You know what, I'm gonna show you guys what I'm talking about. Here she is. Bam, so this is her. Um, this container is by or from the Home Edit Collection. This is a great container. I love it, it keeps everything in it fresh. I'm gonna go ahead and just eat. I didn't wanna eat, eat that big of a piece. Oh my God. Mm. Smoke summer. So good, okay. So I'm gonna, mm. oh my gosh. I That never gets old, <laughs> eating that. So I'm gonna put the new one in this container later on. But now, oh, and then we have the salsa, which we've had for about a week. It is in a container. Yep, it's expired. It's, you know, I'm just gonna see if I can fit it in that big trash, but it is expired, so it's going. All right, so we have some things in containers already. Yogurt. So things that are going back in the fridge, I'll just put to this side. You have yogurt in there, Sabria's. And then we have our egg container, which needs to get washed. So for sure, we're keeping this. Yeah, we have two egg containers and then we have another container that's holding eggs. All right, we are gonna be keeping, of course, we just bought this. We went shopping a few days ago, so we're gonna keep all of these packaged items. I just need to clean them, wash them, and then put it back in the fridge. So I'm also gonna be doing that. Going, I'm so happy to see these leftovers go because the oil, the oil, it's crazy. Let me put you guys down here. So bye-bye, you go away, and you go away. Actually, those are chicken nuggets we got for Sabria when we went to the beach this weekend and that she didn't eat. But because we don't eat meat, a lot of her food goes to waste, which really sucks because we, we, don't, we don't eat what she eats. So whatever meat or dairy item she has over, we just don't eat. And it usually goes to the trash because we don't have her all the time. I don't know why that shocked me. <laughs> so anyway, that's going by. Bye-bye. My auntie, I think they're still good, gave me this. They're, she's told me the name, Grant. This is the name of the nut right here. They're really good for women. I'll just say that. The fun stuff. So <laughs> they just basically sit in here whenever I'm ready to make it, I will make it. You basically make a syrup out of it and then you just take it like daily. You should definitely check it out. <laughs> Everything else that's left out is either going to the trash, needs to be washed, or it's gonna be going back in the fridge. Yeah, yeah. But before we continue, I do wanna talk about some of these products I'm gonna be adding or reusing in the fridge. So this one right here is from the home edit as well, just like this one. And she's great, this is for our eggs. The only thing about it is I wish it was a drawer. I feel like it would be a lot easier for me to pull out my eggs than to have to lip, lift up the lid, especially because they sit on each other. But other than that, we put our eggs in here. It can fit, I think it's about eight, no, is it 18? Uh, five, 10, 15 eggs and we always eat eggs. We eat a lot of egg. So we also end up using their, it's like a, I, guess, I would say like their, I don't know what the name would be for this particular uh, product, but 
we end up putting our eggs in this one as well because we just buy that many eggs. We are a grape eating family, so we love to have grapes. Sabria loves grapes. So we always fill this container up with grapes. So this is what she looks like. You see, she has like ventilation at the bottom. And this is great for like fruits, vegetables. I like her a lot. She does come with a lid similar to the egg container. And she is stackable, which is always great, especially for the fridge. We also have this smaller one, which we use for our yogurt, but we always change that out with just different things. And as I mentioned before, because they have a lid, you can stack. And you know how in our fridge we have so much room, especially like vertical space. It's great to use containers that allow you to stack. So, anywho. By the way, these are from the same collection. I like the idea of having clear containers in the fridge because you get to see through them. Plus, a lot of them are made out of like really good plastic and Oh, and they keep your food items pretty fresh. Okay. Can I do it? literally sips away from being done. One of my favorite non-dairy milk brands. This is Sabria's favorite. <laughs> and she's very specific. Ah! Did y'all see that? <laughs> Everything is out. All right, it is time to go through these. So first and foremost, like I said, we need to get rid of this. She has been expired for a few months. Well, for a month. It's been a month now. So we don't even touch her. We haven't touched her in a while, over a year. I've been telling myself, yeah, I'm going to eat the pickles. And I never do. And I love pickles, but I guess I don't love them that much. <laughs> uh, this is Tony's favorite cocktail sauce. Okay. Expiration date. You're good. You're good to go. Good to Coffee break. Ooh, it's like fuel. All right. Actually, this is pretty new. Okay. I'm just going to put them over here then. Good love. Avocado ranch, guys. Don't sleep on it. So delicious. It's so delicious. I had to buy two. Yes, yes. And actually, this is Thousand Island, which is delicious. Oh my gosh. Everything is good. I know my milks are good because we just got this a few weeks ago. Just got butter and uh, yeah, that's pretty quick. So I try, I try to be on it when it comes to expired items. If you watch my videos, if you see the process of us organizing a person's home, one of the processes, one of the things we do is we get rid of expired items. That's like a must. And I do the same in my house all the time. Honestly, we buy things we eat. So it's rare when we have an expired item. And I know for sure it's expired when we don't touch it. Like the pickles, we haven't touched in over a year. I knew it would be expired, but we've been holding on to it because I had to, because for me, because I told myself I would eat it one of these days and I haven't. So finally, this is a time to let it go. And we are letting it go or I'm letting it go. All right. So everything is good here. Oh, did I go through this? Yeah. We love this brand. So good. And Tony is on a health kick, antioxidants. This is, he just got this. Yeah, he just got this. This is good. Sting, did I go through everything? This is another, okay, we got some this. Yep, we may. And then we have skincare, and I'm gonna be placing this upstairs in my office fridge because I prefer to have only food down here since there's a fridge upstairs, which is closer to our bedroom. We also have some sparkling water on the other side, which we just purchased, so we will be keeping. So everything is gonna stay good, except for those grapes because they are moldy. So what I'm gonna do next is dump out this old leftover food, wash the containers, at least put it in the dishwasher, and then I'm also gonna be cleaning this fridge because, let's take a look at her. She needs a good clean. 
my goal is to take most of it out. I don't think this one can, can this one come off? I don't know if this shell can come off, but if not, I'm just gonna, you know, spray it down, wipe it down. But I know for sure those could come out. I'm just gonna spray her down, clean it thoroughly, and then bring everything back in. As you can see, there are some labels on some of these, which will probably change. Like jelly is probably gonna sit with the condiments since we only have one jelly. We have drinks on the bottom, which is gonna stay. I definitely need to clean that. Can you see that? And then I'm definitely gonna be cleaning the fruits and the vegetable drawers because they are filled with, you know, because they have like some, some, some food stuck on it. Not good. All right, let's get the show on the road. As before, I'm gonna be using her again. Love her, so obsessed. And then I'm gonna be using a different cleaning cloth, but just something that doesn't have any fuzzies. Since I'm gonna be cleaning the fridge, I don't wanna see fuzzies as I'm going in the fridge. So I'm gonna use these joints. I might throw some bleach in there. No, I'm not, I don't use bleach anymore. Sorry. All right. So what kind of fridge do you guys prefer? Do you prefer a fridge like this, like double door fridge, freezer on the left, fridge on the right? Do you prefer freezer on the top or freezer on the bottom and then the entire thing gets a fridge? I, as a child until actually like adulthood really, I grew up with a fridge, like the apartment style fridge. We lived in like a lower, a lower, uh, a lower class, I guess, apartment. And, you know, so it's like the really basic white fridges. So I knew no different until we moved. And when I was in college, and we had a fridge like this. So I learned how to use a fridge like this because I was so used to such a tiny fridge. Uh, using a fridge or having a fridge like this was so foreign to me. Where is the spray? It's down here. But now I want a fridge where this freezer sits on the bottom. I love those kind of fridges. I feel like they have more space because this fridge has space, but it's still very limited. So, but for the other fridges, because the freezer sits on the bottom, the top portion is the fridge. So you have so much more space than you do this type of fridge. So yeah, that's kind of the next fridge that I want. That's what I'm trying to get. I've been looking at a few and I'm in love with so many kinds. <laughs> To be honest, really anything that just gives me more space is what I want. Okay. Let's go. So I just finished cleaning the fridge and I've also put majority of the items back. I didn't want them to sit out too long. So I just went on ahead and did that off camera. I took the drawers out, I took the shelves out and I took it to the sink and I scrubbed it and washed it. I wanted to make sure it was as clean as possible because some of the exposed veggies are gonna be sitting inside the drawers and I don't wanna be eating dirty veggies. To anywho, let me switch this over. So this is one of our favorite smoked salmon. Tony and I now eat, well, I now eat seafood, but Tony's been eating seafood for a while. And um, I remember when I discovered smoked salmon and I was like, what? Let's not put that there. <laughs> I'm like, what? I've been missing out for all these years. So now it's a staple in our home. It's so good. Like we uh, absolutely love it. So we always have it. It does come with a sauce, but we never really eat the sauce because we don't typically eat this with crackers. So we eat it with like egg. So good. I'm gonna pull this out. Right. Take it and dump it in here. Typically, I would have put this in the drawer where Sabrina's Lunchable sit, but I'm just gonna put it in the door. We have some space right now, so I might as well just place them there. No. I'm gonna eat the rest, but I'm gonna put it in the drawer. I'm gonna put it on the door and just, mm, I'm sorry guys, it's so good. It's so good. Mm, 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 mm. 
Anywho, I feel like I gotta wash my hands first, but. She'll go back in the drawer. <laughs> I lied. I placed her back where she was. <laughs> so of course I'm gonna add labels, but I'll do that at the end. So with that said, we're gonna now focus on the freezer. The last time I organized my freezer with you guys has to be at least three years ago. So we're gonna go back in there and reorganize her. Since we are working in a narrow space, it's pretty much gonna look the same as far as the layout. I do like this organizer, which I'm gonna go ahead and pull out. She works really well. Can I do this with one hand? No. Like I was saying, I like this. We use this for Sabria, mostly Sabria's like snacks, not snacks, her food items, like frozen food items, but still, what is, oh, pancakes, but still, but I really like it and it has sections as well. Let me put this here. Okay, I'm leave me there. We have some frozen goods. We have these freezer. These are also, this is, mm, you know what? It actually needs a lot of cleaning in there. There's actually a lot of cleaning that needs to be done in here. And then we have these items. So I'll put this with bread. Let me take off my ring because I'm going to clean before I go through everything because I want to make sure that's clean so this stuff doesn't thaw out. So I'm going to clean and then I'm going to declutter. It's a little different. You know, freezer items, you don't want them to start thawing out, especially I have fish here. We don't eat that. So let me get my cleaning products. So I'm going to be using this scent this time the rose option i like her too she's a little bit more subtle you know what i can take her out and actually wash her she's a little bit more subtle than the others i like her a lot i want to be a little apparently glass that's weird anyway I'm gonna see if I can take these off if I can I was gonna say, if I can, I can really get into it, but I'll just have to squeeze my arm in here. Okay. Can this come out? Oh, wow, didn't know that. Didn't know that. Did not. I did not know this comes out. Okay, I'll just save it for last then. All right, let me clean this a little bit. I'm gonna take this off camera. I'm going to try my best in the next five minutes wash and wipe down the shelves that go back in there. And then I'm gonna try my best to put everything back inside. And then when I come back, I'm going to organize it and declutter it. I know. All right, so I'm back. Even though this is the next clip, it took me about an hour and a half to get back. But the consultation went well and I'm very excited and hopefully we get the client. So before I left, I did clean all the shelves and all the parts that were in the freezer. So now it is nice and clean. Ah, I'm happy about that. So now I'm gonna do some things with you guys because some things need to be done. So I also placed back the frozen items that needed to be in the freezer, like our fish, our vegetables. Also, because I knew for sure we we're gonna keep those items, I went on ahead and put them in their respective areas. But I am gonna go through some things with you guys because we gotta get to it. So for sure, I know I'm gonna be getting rid of 
this ice cream. We have had it for at least six months and we do not like it. It is not good. It's non-dairy, it's oat milk, but there's just something about it that just isn't good. The crazy thing about it, I love strawberry ice cream and for some reason I keep on ordering it. And then when I open it, I realize, oh no, this is not, look, we haven't even eaten it. Look at that. <laughs> when I open it, I'm like, this is not it. This is not it. But it's too late. Uh, what else? Okay. Also, spinach. Ah! A lot of juice fell out. <laughs> All right. Maybe that was just ice. Hopefully it's just ice. This is spinach and broccoli. We've had this for a while. There's probably freezer burnt. Actually, I can... I can smell the freezer burn. <laughs> Go ahead and throw you out as well. I'm drinking. It just hits the spot. It always hits the spot. Yum. All right, so I do want to transfer out the fruit and put it in a container. So I'm going to do that. I don't know if they're going to fit in my small containers. But I know for sure that they will fit in the large one. So how am I going to do this? Let's see. I'm going to be using one of these. Of course, I ended up using one of these in the fridge. I was also thinking of adding our spinach in this and then maybe our frozen goods in the other one. Maybe I'll do that, maybe I'll switch it out. I'll put the spinach in here and then I'll place the frozen items in the other one. Right, yeah, that makes sense. Let me just check it out and get it. Let me get it. So right now my spinach is in here, but but even if I put it in here, where would it go though? It doesn't, nope, it doesn't make sense. Like it has literally no place to go. So, so I do have four of these. So what I think I'm gonna do is put the fruit in here, just separate them in four containers. You know what? I like the idea because it's gonna make it a lot easier to create smoothies because they're gonna be in these small containers and we can just make, we can, we can make one container or we can use one container to make maybe two or three smoothies. I feel like that works. I'm gonna do it. So I'm gonna, gonna line them up and just separate them really quickly. Wow, I think this is gonna make it so much easier to use and create more space in our freezer since we do not have any space in that freezer. Sometimes I'm like, how are you even utilizing this? All right, so. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, this looks so delicious. Oh. Frozen berry. They're actually a little bit thawed out. Is it thawed out or thawed? I don't know. You know what? I can also make oh, a delicious berry syrup. Oh, that'd be so good. It's so easy to make. It's literally like all you do is boil the berries. You add some sugar to it. What else do you add to it? I think a little bit of water. It's already frozen, so you may not even need water. And you just let it boil. And then after it boils, you let it sit. And then it gets really like, kind of like a, I was gonna say a marmalade, but it's like a, not a jelly. I can't think of the word, but it, it just, it gives it a, you know, like a nice texture and you could just put it on your pancakes. I'm always getting myself hungry. <laughs> I'm like, mm, I want that now. It smells so good. Let me go ahead and close you up. And I'll get the other one. All right. I don't know if two of these is enough, but I'll try. Yeah, see, I feel like sometimes these large bags can be intimidating and when it's buried inside the freezer or even the fridge, you just don't use it. And we do love to make smoothies. So I feel like this is literally the best way to do so. So it looks like I may need three of these containers, which we do have enough. Okay, this is ready. Oh, look how beautiful that is. Oh. Looks so good. By the way, do not, I repeat, do not dishwash these. Tony dishwashed two of them and a large one, and now they're gone, they're destroyed. I had to throw them away recently. Oh, it, 
hurt me so much. It was so painful because they are pricey. I don't know if you've seen the cost of these. I think the small one's like $10. So I was like, you do know these are expensive, right? I was so angry, not angry, but just kind of like, really? Now I have to like buy them. Ooh, that looks so beautiful. It doesn't taste like much because it's berries. <laughs> you know, in your mind, you're like, ooh, smells good. It must taste sweet. No, it's not sweet at all. Okay. This is like where all the syrup, like the juices are. I'm tasting it again, thinking that it's going to get sweeter. Still not sweet, Judy. It's not nasty. It's just not sweet. All right. Hands are definitely <laughs> <laughs> but anyway three are done good so i have this one and then i have another one over there that i'm going to rinse out really quickly but this one should be able to this should be able to fit let me go rinse this off but two containers should be good all right cool this is actually kind of messy since it's been falling out this one has a little bit of freezer burn but it doesn't smell freezer burn so let me just taste one The mango is not sweet <laughs> at all. Well, good though. Mm, mm -mm. Never mind. Mm. Oh my, that's really good. I am missing. Oh. Mm. It's not freezer burn. That's just frozen. That tastes so good. Is that pineapple? Hmm. Mm, I promise you. I'm sorry. Every time I organize my pantry, my fridge, any place that has food in it, I will eat it. <laughs> I must try it. You know, you got to see if it's expired. <laughs> it's like literally my favorite part because I'm like, oh, I haven't seen these in you know, maybe about a month or so. And they're still good. They've been frozen. Look at the juices. Oh, she is juicy. Ooh, we are definitely mm -mm -mm. going to eat this. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, cool. I got all of it. Yes. Okay, cool. I love it. Makes me very, very happy. I feel like a kid in a candy store. You get in there. Okay. You know what? Let me just transfer a little bit of you over here. Okay. Mm. They're full. And now the challenge is to see where in the heck are these going to sit? Before I put up the fruit, I am going to rewrap the cake. I do have some aluminum foil with me. So if you watched the spring cleaning video of me organizing all our drawers, you would have seen when we or we. You would have seen when I organized my aluminum foil drawer. It's kind of like the Ziploc aluminum foil slash lighters drawer. She's thriving. <laughs> she still looks good. Okay. Boom. I'm going to show you guys. This is the cake topper. Oh, I told y'all we took a bite of her. But look, this is a cake topper. It was such a beautiful cake. If I do have a photo, I'll put it right here. But... She's so pretty. She was beautiful. Very simple cake. I am someone who likes simplicity in every way. She was so simple. Oh my gosh, I cannot wait to try this. Okay. We're going to put another piece of foil on the other side. Maybe I should do this. Turn it over and then wrap her. Wrap her is ready to be eaten in a year. Actually, November 21st is when she'll be eaten. I don't know if you remember, but last time I did mention that we do have bread, but it sits in the freezer. These are a few, these are actually the ends of the breads. For some reason, we like to keep them and hold on to them and never use them. So they are going. Bye bye. Oh, that one fell. <laughs> okay, let me go ahead and throw this away as well. All right. Also, 
this has been hard. We have been holding on to these pretzels for a minute, but we have not touched them. So guess what? They're leaving finally. Let me see how many we have left. Wow, we have a lot left. We just don't touch it. Oh, and it smells very frozen. <laughs> bye bye. So the last items we have is the biscuit that was in the fridge earlier. And then we have the pancakes. So I'm thinking of switching them out and putting them in another container. And then I'm thinking of not doing it. This is our beloved pancakes. So what I might end up doing is just putting them in a Ziploc bag, just kind of, how, kind of how we have the biscuit and just put them together and put them probably on the door somewhere. So we know for sure to eat them as soon as possible. I, I feel like that's like the best option. Let me go get some Ziploc bags. I'll be right back. I'll get two just in case. Okay, so I'm gonna keep the biscuit in there. But hopefully, okay, they're pretty solid. Oh, smells. Um, I could bite this, but it's not gonna be too good. <laughs> There's only three in here anyway. This will most likely be eaten in the next day or two. So, yeah, because they're gonna be eaten soon, I'm like, we might as well keep them in a Ziploc bag. If they were gonna be kept longer, I would then keep them in. A glass container so I'm gonna put these to the side nope I'm gonna put them in here okay all right you go to the side last but not least is this container uh, I recently bought these ice creams these are all dairy-free ice creams they are so good the only thing I'm gonna do is to take them out of the container and just put them in here so they are just grabbable first of all my favorite type of ice cream is the ice cream sandwich I grew up adoring these ice creams and whenever I went, whenever I went vegan a long time ago, now I'm pescatarian, no dairy. So when So Delicious came out with these, I was like, ah, especially the ones with almond milk. So good. Oh, this is trash. <laughs> Why do we have a random popsicle in here? Sabria does not eat that. The other ones that I have are these from Favorite Day. I think they're a store brand option. Maybe they're not. I'm sorry if they aren't. Ugh. They're so good. And um, they're actually oat milk based and yeah. Or four, look what it looks like. If just in case you're curious and wanted to taste it, it tastes really good. You wouldn't know it's uh, non-dairy, but then again, I haven't <laughs> I haven't consumed dairy in so long. I don't know what it tastes like anymore. So maybe if you tasted it, you'll be like, "This is disgusting." <laughs> don't let me convince you. Anyway, and then I have these these Magnum. They're so delicious. I don't know if you guys ever seen or tasted these, but they're they taste the same. I'm assuming like the regular. I don't know. They're good. <laughs> All right, and then these. Okay, cool. All right. Okay, there's nothing in there. I'm actually gonna take one of these and eat it now. <laughs> Wait, how many calories is this? Wow, why? 240 calories, why? <laughs> mm. I know why. <laughs> now that I am done with decluttering and placing everything in its respective space or place, I'm gonna start working on the labels. So I'm gonna enjoy this and I'll be right back. Mm. Mm. Worth every calorie. The freezer is done. I added some labels to it. These are the labels that I added to it. These are very simple labels. I purchased them from Amazon and I also purchased the marker from Amazon. And I believe that they work beautifully in the freezer and also in the fridge. As you know, these areas do get wet, so they stay moist. I know a lot of people don't like that, but they do. And I feel like these labels work well in them, especially compared to the chalkboard labels. So anywho, now that it is done, let me show you guys what it looks like. This is a finished product with all the new labels. So everything has a place, everything is labeled. I do plan on getting some strawberries for this bin. So I'm gonna leave her here, let her get cold and chilled, and then add the strawberries whenever I purchase them. And then further down, I did end up, I ended up adding my protein shakes in here next to the Jello. Both of these bins come from the same line. So I made sure they sat next to each other. And then down here is our sparkling water. And then next to it, I have leftovers. 
I wanted to make sure that I've kept a section for leftovers. And as we drink the sparkling wine, that's not wine, and as we drink the sparkling water, there will be more space for leftovers. But again, we don't keep leftovers longer than three to four days. If we do, we do put it in the freezer. And then further down is where our veggies are. Yikes. <laughs> We have our tomatoes and peppers on one side and our greens. Sometimes this is extremely filled. Sometimes it's really bare. It just depends on how much I'm cooking. And then down here, we have our lemons and limes. We typically have apples in here as well. We love our apples cold. Let me know in the comment section below if you like cold apples. And yeah, fruits go here. We love it. So on the door, we have our butter on top. Usually this area is packed, but the butter that I usually get is not in stock, but this one still works. And then we have everything else. We have our miscellaneous section and I named it miscellaneous. We also have our condiments. So we have one, two, two sections filled with condiments. I love condiments. I love sauces. So it only makes sense to have more than one. And then further down, we have all of our drinks. So we have two sections for drinks as well. We usually change the type of drinks we have, but we typically have different type of milks. So, and those usually sit on the bottom, but the other drinks are usually for like special type of drinks that we don't buy all the time. Even though this drink right here is actually vitamins. <laughs> So I decided to add the spinach, Ugh, at least most of it to here. I just noticed that <laughs> this big machine is sitting on the floor. Anyway, this is from the Home Edit Collection. Love this canister. I'm thinking of replacing my canisters in my pantry, but I'm not sure yet. Anywho, plus it's in my face. So it kind of encourages me to, you know, eat vegetables, which I like, so yeah. <laughs> And then we have lettuce next to her. So these work well. Usually Tony has his uh, kombucha in here. I'm sure we'll eat this before the new kombucha comes in here, but it always changes in our fridge. There is no one layout for the fridge. It's constantly changing. Sometimes our fridge is filled with organizing products and sometimes it's not. I like adding organizing products to create division but sometimes we're just in a rush and our fridge is just normal, like most people's fridge. <laughs> All right, and then my most favorite thing that I just added is or are these. So I am someone who loves coffee, if you don't know. I love the coffee and I love adding creamer. I typically have two different vegan creamers and I found these canisters at Target. So I got two and yeah, they work perfectly. They don't have a lot of suction but I feel like the creamer is gonna be okay in them. I'll check them out and see if I really, really like them, and I'll let you guys know in a few weeks how I truly feel about them. But anyway, they work, and hey, if they work, I'm gonna use it. You know, functionality over aesthetics? No. I looked at these grapes, and I'm like, I want one. Mm. Mm. And they're cold. Mm. 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 I'm gonna tell you one thing, this fridge is organized. So now onto the freezer. All right, here's our freezer. She doesn't have a light, but she works. Our ice cream sits up top, took all of them out of the package, and now they're easy to grab and go. Super, super convenient. Also, frozen fruit now has labels. I have five frozen fruits, and I decided to keep these two here because first of all, they didn't fit here, but I feel like they are now in our faces and whenever we're ready to make some smoothies, we can just grab her. So I decided to keep this because there are a lot of, well, outside of, <laughs> outside of the shelf moving, there are a lot of compartments in here. And this is where, <laughs> where Sabria's corn dog, she's obsessed. But there's compartments in here, which I have taken off some of the uh, dividers because we have corn dogs back there. But this is a perfect way to hold you know, just kind of like dinners or anything that needs division. I like the fact that we are able to use the entire vertical space as well and nothing is stacked on each other. We have all of our ice here. This is the rest of the frozen fruit. And then in the back is our wedding cake. She is sitting pretty back there. And then here is our frozen bread. We have a few, we got some bagels and two type of breads. We try to go through this before we buy new ones. And then we have our frozen potatoes, which I am obsessed with potatoes. But there's a few in there. So we are stocked up for a minute. <laughs> and then on the bottom is our seafood. 
which we love. So yeah, and I like the fact that they do stand up so they're just easy to grab outside of our frozen fruit. We have our miscellaneous is what I call this area, but these are things that we're gonna be eating very, very soon. And then we have our roti. We always buy roti. So I decided to just name this section roti. We always buy this. This is so delicious. Oh my gosh. And then down here is our veggies. You see that label? But everything is labeled now. So we know where things go. It's just a lot easier for us to put things away and to maintain the space. I don't know if you can see that, but one side says frozen meals, the other side says corn dogs. <laughs> of course, there might be times where things change and we don't change the label and we just kind of place things in the freezer as we would in the fridge, but it at least gives us a guide, which is important when it comes to organizing your space. A guide will at least steer you towards the right path even if you don't follow it. Hopefully, we can get a new fridge soon. Ooh, and when I do, because I'm gonna speak it, I am going to, of course, create a video showing you guys how to organize that type of fridge. All right, guys, that's it. My freezer and fridge are nicely cleaned and organized and ready to be used even though as in the pantry, I don't want to use her, but I will. <laughs> also, this series is done, the kitchen edition at least. If you are interested at all, maybe I'll bring it into another space. I'm thinking of changing some things in my bathrooms, the master bathroom, the guest bathroom, and possibly the bedroom. So if you're interested at all, let me know in the comment section below and maybe I'll make it a thing. I don't know, it's a lot to do. <laughs> but if enough of you guys suggest that I should, then I will. <laughs> so let me know in the comment section below if you enjoyed today's video or the entire series. Let me know what day you liked the most or the least or what you liked about the series. My goal for the series was to at least get you thinking about spring cleaning even if you haven't started because I know how daunting it could be. But once you start it, you finish, you feel great. I do. <laughs> Anywho, thank you so much for watching this video and this entire series. And I look forward to showcasing other parts of my home, other organizing projects that I have in store. So with that said, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And thank you so very much for watching this video. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.